Delver is a warm blanket of a video game. Nowadays, there's a lot of reinvention going on in the indie game market because it's a very saturated market indeed. If you look left or right, you'll probably see 85 games trying to shoot for the moon, become the next Portal, or the next Lady Aspire, or what have you. In comparison, Delver is about as ambitious and radical as a bowl of oatmeal. It's a pretty simple game, truth be told. If you're looking at the screen right now, you've basically surmised a gameplay loop for the most part. There's a couple other things you can do there, but not really. You could call Delver a roguelite, but that kind of is a misnomer. You don't really unlock any more stuff between runs for the dungeon. And the stuff you do unlock is just more slots for your backpack, which, you know... I mean, I'm not gonna jump over and do a backflip over a new slot for my backpack, it isn't that big a deal. In addition to that, you have a gold system that you keep between runs. For whatever reason, your adventurer's pockets seem to be the only thing that uh, remain attached to his body. I, I think it's the same adventurer, it might not be. Uh, as that aside, the gold isn't exactly the most uh, useful resource for the most part. Everything is super expensive, so... I mean, if you've played this game for 50 hours and you have enough gold to buy a proverbial gold mansion, or a little gold mansion, maybe you could spend it on, like, arrows or something like that. Although, I don't know why you'd need to, because Delver is a pretty easy game as well. The biggest challenge in Delver is uh, not blowing yourself up with like a red wand or something. Those things are powerful and fun to use, but them being fun to use is the most dangerous thing in the game because you're more of a threat to yourself than the enemies are. The art style, which I think could best be defined as Baby's first D&D, has all the intrigue of a bottle of ketchup. But if you put it on your fries, you're gonna have a good time, and that's kind of what Delver is. It's a, it's a bunch of McDonald's fries. Of course, if you look at Steam, you'll find about a thousand games with unique mechanics and ideas which are all middlingly interesting, or very interesting, but suffer from poor execution. Delver is about as bumpy as a spool of velvet. I've never encountered a bug while playing the game, and for the most part, I haven't really even encountered anything which was very, uh, how to say, intellectually challenging one way or the other. If you've played a video game, and you, like, imagine video game in your head, it's probably gonna look a lot like Delver. In fact, I'm sure this is what people like in the 80s thought games were going to be in 40 years. Which is just like the same thing but very smooth and without any hitches. All the extra stuff is kind of superfluous. At the end of the day, you press the space bar and your character swings a sword, you know? This is what, dream this is what nerds dreamed of back in the 80s. Delver isn't the kind of game you play if you want a tilted worldview, or even a change worldview in any slight way, shape, or form. I feel like we've entered this strange place where a complete lack of novelty is novel in its own right. Of course, there isn't really anything going on here that you haven't seen a million times before in other places, but the fact that it plays very smoothly, it's like you're playing the memory of all those things. Delver's satisfying gameplay and complete frictionless experience lends itself to having a good time for a couple of hours, and then never having to think about that good time ever again, the dopamine having been harvested. Now I know your library is probably festooned with games which were revolutionary or genre-defining, or at the very least career-making, that you could play instead. Games which have had their mump in the sun, and I have a whole host of reviews saying that it's uh, the best thing since sliced bread. Or you could just do the equivalent of eating like a whole loaf of sliced bread and play Delver instead. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it, but you'll have a good time, you know? It's the most perfectly functional game I've seen in my entire life, 